want to show no skin. No skin. <laughs> Bible, sword, sword of truth, praise the Lord. I'm uh, in old Sacramento. I'm gonna go ahead and go hold my sign and hand out gospel tracks. The old commission car. Pray that it does not die on me. We got a few years to go out and maybe. Uh, Christians are going to be uh, persecuted a lot harder from this going on in time here on this wicked world. Uh, so we've got to take as much uh, advantage, as much of this uh, time as we have to uh, proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ. Uh, amen. Well. Lord, I gotta get in a corner somewhere. I gotta get hide here, make my my closet. Oh, just gotta give my prayer out there. Oh Lord. Let thy will be done. Jesus, Jesus Christ is Lord. Give your life to Him. Your life's but a vapor of time, and then the judgment. There's a day called Judgment Day coming. You got to get ready now. Today is the day of salvation. You're not promised tomorrow. Seek the Lord while he may be found. He can be found. 
you got that breath of life. That means God's grace and mercy apply in your life. Yes, it does. But there's a day coming that's going to burn like an oven. And all the proud, yes, and all that do wickedly are going to be burned up, says the Lord. If you're living for yourself, you're living wickedly. Jesus Christ commands all men and women everywhere to obey the gospel. The gospel of Jesus Christ is magnified above all things. Every knee will bow and every tongue will confess. One day that word's going to judge you. You better open it up now because later it's too late. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Might be saved. He that believeth is not condemned. But he that believeth not is condemned already because they have not believed on the only begotten Son of God. It's 2024. Time is running out. Your life is but a vapor and then the judgment. You better repent. Because you can't repent when you die. It's over. Where are you going to be on that day? Well, I'll tell you what. If you're a faithful and trustful servant, you already know. But if you're not a faithful and trustful servant, oh, yeah. you're going to perish. I'm gonna die. You will. It's a guarantee. Everybody's going to die scare people you should need to fear the lord yeah, the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom you yeah supposed to come at people with a loving no heart. that's not what jesus did that's you're not, not what the disciples did people. and the love people is you're to tell them the truth well hey if you're not if you're living in sin and you're not fearing your sin there's a problem seriously and jesus christ spoke more on hell than anybody combined in the bible You know, uh, Jesus Christ so loved the world that he destroyed every living soul except eight people. And now God commands all men everywhere to repent because there's coming a day when God's going to judge the world. God hates all workers of iniquity. If you're living in sin, you're a worker of iniquity. For behold, yes, there is this day called Judgment Day, and it's coming. The only way I can love my neighbor is to obey the gospel and to preach what God's word says. And God says to go and sin no more. Do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor thieves, nor homosexuals, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners have any inheritance in God's kingdom. You got to repent. You got to turn from your wicked ways, drunkards potheads those of you that like to look at women in lust watch pornography commit adultery you gotta repent God is keeping a record 
You're not going to skip out on the day of judgment. The only way is you got to give your life to the Lord today. You're not promised tomorrow. Jesus Christ is our only hope. One way. Jesus Christ is that way. Come on. You are created in the image of God. Yes, I'm talking to you. Every living soul is created in the image of God and created for God's glory. You're not created for your own. You're created to glorify God. God gave you a free will. Wouldn't be a loving God if he made you a puppet now, would it? But if you're not going to give your life to the Lord and obey his love gospel, you're going to perish because God will not allow sin in his kingdom. And you need the Lord Jesus Christ. What did God do for you? God emptied himself of his glory and became a man. Emmanuel, God with us. God came down to earth, lived a sinless life, laid your sins on him. He laid his life down for you and me. Don't you think you ought to lay your life down for the Lord? To obey the gospel is to lay your life down for the Lord. That's it. To live a holy and righteous life in Jesus Christ. That's it. To live a sober and holy life. Not a prideful life, not a selfish life, but a life loving the Lord with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, and loving your neighbor as yourself. To warn your neighbor, sin, the wages of sin is death. You cannot wash away one sin Regardless of how much good you do, you need that shed blood of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is Lord. He is the way. Jesus Christ is the truth. Jesus Christ is the life. Definite article. And Jesus is the complete fullness of the Godhead, my friends. Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, God says. You got to obey the gospel to trumpet the word of God. Are you obeying the gospel? You know, the Bible says we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. He is my strength. What about you? Is your strength your pride, sir? Is that your strength? Will God resist the proud? But he gives grace to the humble. I see a lot of pride. Some of you eat pride all day long. You're so full of pride so full of pride you're an abomination under the Lord do you know that your body's a temple and it belongs to the Lord he who destroys the temple God will destroy stop smoking man holy 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 is our God and your body belongs to the Lord you are defiling your temple with drugs. You're defiling your temple with alcohol. You're defiling your temple being immodest. What else are you doing that's defiling your temple? You better wake up. There's this day called Judgment Day coming 
and I love my neighbor. That's why I'm out here. Because you're gonna get judged one day, you better repent. Hell fire is coming. Judgment day is coming. You better wake up. You are created to glorify God. You better start glorifying God. You better stop living in the flesh. You better stop being friends of the world. Friendship with the world makes you an enemy of God. I'm just telling you what you already know. But you're suppressing the truth in your unrighteousness. If you're living in sin, you're suppressing the truth. We got a lot of perverts in our nation today. We got a lot of ungodly people in our nation today. Does it have to be you? No. You can repent today. You can start obeying the gospel today. It's not impossible. Thou shalt love the Lord with all thy heart, with all thy mind, and with all thy strength. And these words that I command you this day shall be on your heart. You shall teach them diligently to your children. You shall talk of these words when you sit in your house and when you walk by the way and when you lie down and when you rise up. You're to be about the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's it. One way. Mohammed can't save you. He's a pedophile. The Jehovah Witnesses. Newsflash. Jesus Christ is not Michael the Archangel. Mormons. Newsflash. Jesus Christ is not the brother of Satan. Jesus Christ is God in the flesh. Emmanuel, heard that word before? Some of you been to church, means God with us. He's with you right now, you got that breath of life. The Bible says, if you say that you know the Lord and you walk in darkness, you're a liar, and the truth is not in you. The love of the Father is not in you. You better repent. If you're living in sin, you are a slave to sin. And the slave will not abide in God's house forever. You're in God's house right now. You better wake up. Better wake up. Your soul, your soul might be acquired of you today if you die. Where are you going to spend eternity? I want you to be in heaven, glorifying the Lord, the King of Kings. Don't you want that for yourself? I want that for you. Amen. Hey, young ladies, can I give you a gospel track? Can I give you girls a couple gospel tracks? Well, seek the Lord while you got the breath of life. God's grace and mercy apply in your life. Don't be playing games. Well, I guess they don't want it. They must have been mocking. Too bad. There's a lot of mockers. People mock the Lord every day. What about you? Just living in sin is enough to separate you from God, right? Just a little denial is enough to separate you from God. Just a little bit of cigarette smoke, just a little bit of marijuana, just a little bit of drunkenness, that's it. Separate you from God. 
But God gave you a free will, praise God, right? You don't have to serve the king. You don't have to serve the Lord. But you're not going to be in his kingdom. He's getting ready. Jesus Christ is getting ready. He did, he's not coming back as a baby in a manger. He's coming back in flaming fire to seek vengeance on you if you're not obeying the gospel. The highway to hell is very broad. Most people are on it. friend there's coming a day it's called judgment day God put his laws on your heart listen not to me listen to your God-given conscience read that word of God Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God alone. No, you're not. You like to listen to that garbage music, that world music, that stuff that makes you a friend of the world, makes you an enemy of God. God is clear in his word. If you don't read the word, you must not care about your soul. If you're not obeying the gospel, you must not care about your soul. You must not care about your neighbor. For the grace of God has appeared to all men everywhere teaching us to deny ungodliness and worldly lusts. We should live soberly and righteously in this present age, looking for that great and glorious day when our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, returns. Come on, wake up. Stop living in sin. Look at your life. You're created in God's image. Come on, wake up. Jesus Christ has given you the breath of life to repent. Why hasn't God returned yet? Because he wants to save you. When Jesus returns, it's going to be too late. When you take your last breath, it's going to be too late. Now's the time. Now is the time to seek the Lord Jesus Christ. Not Muhammad. Allah is the God of this world. Who's the God of this world? The devil. For I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God unto salvation to them that believe, to the Jew first, then to the Greek, you and I. What can wash away our sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus Christ can wash away your sin. What can make you whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus Christ can make you whole. Time is running out. Time is running out.
Anything around? Anything here glorifying the Lord? Just a sure sign that we're in the last days. It's going to be like back in the day of Noah. The Bible says we're here. A bunch of wicked, ungodly generation. Well, judgment's coming for you. I'm going to lay my life down for the Lord. That's what you ought to be doing considering eternity's coming. You want to play games with God? You're going to lose. You want to rebel against God? You're going to lose. Take the best deal in town. The Lord Jesus Christ who shed his blood for you. Almost all things were purged in blood. But without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sin. The only reason that you still got the breath of life is because God wants to save you. But you got to make that decision. God's not going to make it for you. He's a knocking. You better answer.